Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I want to show you an automation script to automatically upload CSV files to Google BigQuery using BigQuery API in Python. So this is a script I use whenever I need to upload CSV files to Google BigQuery for myself or for my clients. Now here in my project folder, I have a folder called data files. Inside this folder, I have four CSV files that I want to upload to my Google BigQuery. Now let me open one of the CSV files. Now in the CSV file, I have five counts, ID, title, score, created UTC, and this is a date field, and read the URL. So just five counts. Now let me close this file. And I want to upload these four CSV files to my staging uh, data set. Now let me go into my VS Code. Now first thing first, I'm going to import the libraries. So for this script, I'm going to import the uh, path class from the pathlet library. Then I'm going to import the time module, OS module. And from google.cloud, I'm going to import the BigQuery module. And for this script, I don't say I need to use pandas library. So let me delete the uh, library. Now to perform the automation, I'm going to create three functions. And let me go ahead and paste the uh, functions. And I'll go over the functions in a little bit. But for now, I want to type every single line in the uh, Python file. So here I'm going to prepare my variables. Basically, I'm going to create two variables, project ID and data set ID. So project ID is going to be the project that you want to use. And data set ID is going to be uh, based on the uh, data set that you want to upload the tables to. Now going back to my project folder. So my data files is under my data files folder. So here I'm going to create my uh, BigQuery client instance first. Then I'm going to create the uh, folder path that link to my data files folder. So here I'm going to uh, use the path class. Then I'm going to uh, specify the folder path. Then I'm going to insert a loop. So basically I want to iterate each file in my data files folder. Inside my data files folder, I have a folder called new folder that I want to ignore. So here I'm iterating each file inside the data files folder. Then I want to check the file extension to see if the file name ends with CSV. If it does, then I can assume that that's going to be the data file that I want to upload. Then here I want to print message to tell me that which file is currently being processed. As for the table name, because my file name contains uh, both date and time, for the table name, I only want to use the file name plus the uh, date. So here I'm going to uh, split the file name into uh, three chunks or three components. So BigQuery, date value, and time value. All right, so here, uh, let's do this. I'm going to put a break right here. And I'll mainly run this loop. Oh, I forgot to create my variables. I'm going to create my variables first and my objects. Then I want to uh, run this loop. And I want to uh, excel the iteration from the first loop. Now if I print the table name variable, and it's going to return bakery followed by the date value. And I want to combine these two strings with an underscore. And this line here is going to create the CSV file file path. All right, so here, uh, let's go to the functions. So the first function I want to share is the uh, table reference function. So basically, we can create a table reference using this function. And only to provide its project ID, data set ID, and table ID. Now, the next function is going to be deleting all the tables in a data set. So just in case, if I want to refresh the uh, process. And the last function is going to be used to upload a CSV file to my BigQuery and create the table based on a CSV file's content. So inside the upload CSV function, I want to delete the uh, table first, uh, if the table exists. Then I want to create a lojar config object. So we can use the lojar config object to define our table schema. And let me delete this line. So here I'm referencing the schema attribute. And inside the list, 
I'm basically specifying uh, each field's uh, metadata. So for the first column, it's going to be the ID column. So this is going to be the uh, field name, data type, and whether if the uh, field is required field. Then we have other settings such as if we want, we can use auto detect attribute to automatically detect the uh, table schema. But here I'm going to uh, come out this line because I already uh, defined my schema from this code block here. Then we need to define the uh, table source format. In this case, it's going to be CSV. And I want to skip the first row. And if you're uploading a CSV file, make sure that you set the allow quote new lines attribute to two. And finally, we are going to uh, open the file, the CSV file actually. Then we're going to uh, perform a upload job API request using client that load table from file method. Inside the load table from file method, I'm going to provide the source file as a read binary. Destination is going to be a table's name. And here, let me delete this line here. And location is going to be where the data set is located. And finally, we need to uh, supply the loja configuration object to uh, define the table schema. And because uh, when you are performing an upload job, the job is going to be assigned to a queue and waiting to be executed. So here I'm instantly a while loop to uh, refresh the job status every two seconds until the job state is equals to done. Then I want to print the job result. All right, so this is going to be uh, everything that we need to write for the automation script. Now let's do a test run. So here I'm going to press F5 to run the script. Now it's processing the first file. So here I'm getting a bad request exception. So 400 error while reading data error message could not pass this date format. Now let's take a look. And I did this on purpose. All right, so in the Excel file, my column D, which is going to be the uh, dates field, is presented as months, day, and year values. And to fix the year, here I'm going to highlight the column. Then I'm going to use the shortcut Control One since I'm using Excel. And I need to format the uh, date. And I need to format the date with year, dash, months, dash, day. And it's going to be the uh, dates format that BigQuery will recognize. Now save the file. And I'll need done that to the other three files. Now let me go back and run the script. Now this time my Python script is able to process the file successfully. And it looks like the script is finished. Now if I go back to my Google BigQuery console, refresh the page. And I should see those uh, CSV files. It's now uploaded to my staging uh, data set. All right, so let's look at the first table. So here's our uh, table schema, details, and preview the uh, data set. Now, if I want to erase all the tables in the staging data set, so here I can simply call the delete data set tables function. And I'll provide the project ID and the data sets ID. And I'll run the function. Right, so let me see. Delete data set tables. Let me recreate the function. And I'll call the function again manually. So project ID is not defined. Okay, so I know why, because before I was uh, running the script by itself. Now, let me uh, manually run the script. And I want to uh, run this line here by itself. All right, so once you see the table is deleted message, that means that all the tables in my staging data set is now deleted. Now, if I refresh the page, now looking at my staging data set, I should not see any tables available in this uh, data set. So this is going to be everything I'm going to show you in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And feel free to post your comment or your question in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.